Hello and welcome back to Destiny Speaks. Listen, I just wanted to come and share a word with you. I was sitting here um, reading Second Chronicles and in my study time, and I just came across something uh, that I just wanted to share with you that the Lord had dropped in my spirit. And it's about uh, living in unity and, and walking together in unity. And my bishop preached about this um, uh, a couple of weeks ago about how... how um, important it is for us to be unified as as a church you know the bible tells us it says how good and pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity but i just wanted to read to you um here from second chronicles what it says in the word here and then just give you a little bit of what i got from that okay so it says in the book of second chronicles the fifth chapter um beginning with the 13th verse amen it says it came even to pass as the trumpeters and singers were as one to make one sound to be heard in praising and thanks and thanking the Lord and when they had lifted up their voices with the trumpets and cymbals and instruments of music and praised the Lord saying for he is good and his mercy endureth forever that then the house was filled with the cloud even the house of the Lord, so that the priests could not stand to minister by reason of the cloud, for the glory of the Lord had filled the house. And what that says there is that when the people became unified, it says when the when the sound that the people were making was a unified sound, then the glory of the Lord came. It's so important that we are unified as a church and as a people and as the kingdom of God, because without that unity, the glory of the Lord will not come. God is looking for a certain sound from his church and from his people. And the Bible tells us, I think it's, uh, first Corinthians, the 14th chapter, beginning about the eighth verse, it says, if the sound of the trumpet is not certain, if the trumpet does not make a certain sound, who shall prepare himself for battle? You know, back in those times when it was time to go to battle, maybe the lookout person was there and they could see the enemy coming. They would get on the trumpet and they would play a certain sound. You know, it wasn't the sound that they were going to make if they were going to have a party or, you know, maybe it was time to meet and just praise the Lord. It was the sound that they made when it was time to go into battle. And God is saying, if the sound is not certain, if the church is not making a unified sound, then the glory of God is not going to come. And we need the glory of God. We need the glory of God because when the glory comes, it brings with it deliverance and it brings with it salvation and it brings with it yoke breaking and and strong and, and things that pull down strongholds but without the glory we're not going to have any of that and we don't get the glory until we become unified it said in the word that i just read that once the glory came that the priest couldn't even stand to minister because when the glory comes everything has to bow so that means that depression has to bow that means that sickness has to bow that means that low self-esteem has has to bow. That means that financial issues has to bow. But until we become unified, and not just unified in our churches, unified in our homes. You need husbands and wives need to be unified. A parents and children need to be unified. Sisters and brothers need to be unified so that the glory of God can come. We need to be making a certain sound in every area of our life so that the glory will come. And we need the we can't do anything without the glory of God. We can't do anything without the anointing of God. But until we become unified unified with our sisters and brothers, unified in our home, unified in our churches, then the glory of God will not come. But if we will become unified and the glory will come, I promise you, every situation, every problem will begin to change. Amen. Because nothing can stand in the presence of the glory of God. Amen. Listen, this has been Destiny Speaks. I love you guys. Have a blessed awesome Holy Ghost field day. Tell somebody about Jesus and remember destiny speaks. So what are you saying? Have a blessed day.